The King will today, March 13, deliver the Commonwealth Day message from the Great Pulpit at Westminster Abbey, before hosting a reception at Buckingham Palace. For the occasion, Sophie looked elegant in a cream coat dress with brown buttons. The coat dress looked as if it was a separate jacket and skirt as the bodice featured large pockets. It also had a wide collar and a button just below the collar and on the sleeve cuffs. The skirt was long and slightly pleated, reaching Sophie's shins. She combined this with a pair of matching nude heels. As for jewellery, Sophie wore a pair of drop earrings, which have rarely been seen by royal fans in the past, except for Sophie and Edward's wedding, back in 1999. The earrings featured tiny pearl studs with two other tiny pearls dangling from them. The latter pearls were black. For her wedding ceremony, Sophie matched these earrings with a cream and black pearl necklace, featuring a cross-shaped pendant. Sophie completed her look with a pair of shiny, nude heels, which seemed to be the ones she wore for her first appearance as Duchess of Edinburgh last week. The Royal Don Her Prada Natural Classic Pumps. These are a pair of shoes the Duchess has worn on many occasions in the past. As for her bag, Sophie carried a cream and black handbag which matched the rest of her look. The Duchess also donned a matching hat. It was cream with a black bow at the back. Her hair was pinned in a neat bun at the nape of her neck and she wore minimal makeup. Sophie donned lashings of black mascara and a subtle light pink lip gloss. As for her husband, the new Duke of Edinburgh looked suave in a navy blue pinstripe suit and a polka dot tie. 